The Bitcoin MVRV Z score has been one of the most effective charts for timing Bitcoin market tops and bottoms. And we've just made it even better. Today we're going to be talking about improving the Bitcoin MVRV Z score and we're better to start than the Bitcoin MVRV Z score chart we have here on BitcoinMagazinePro.com. So if you weren't already aware, the Bitcoin MVRV Z score is looking at the realized cap or realized price of BTC, which is the average accumulation price or cost basis of all BTC on the network, and looking at the ratio between that and the current market cap of BTC. What I can do is just remove the Z score here, and then we can see the raw MVRV values here. So this is literally just dividing these two values to give us the current market value to realize value ratio. And then what we can do is just standardize all of that data for the standard deviation or volatility of Bitcoin's price action to give us this Z score. Now, historically, as you can probably immediately see from the chart, it has been historically amazing at calling market cycle tops and bottoms. Every time we've reached this red cycle peak area here, it's been an amazing period to begin profit taking or rotating out of BTC. And every time we're in this lower green region here, it is called market bottoms to perfection and signified some of the best areas for risk to reward accumulation for BTC. However, one thing to note is many investors have maybe looked at this chart and been a little bit skeptical of its potential and accuracy going forward due to the fact in the previous cycle we saw a diminishing peak, meaning that previously we would see MVRV Z scores above values of 9 or 10, whereas in the previous cycle it was just a value of around 7. Now this may be because we had a rounded double peak cycle where we had this long drawn out cycle peak as people were maybe anticipating significantly higher prices for a blow off top similar to what we'd seen in previous cycles before bit of a dip and then a new all-time high at just fractionally higher prices. So a very peculiar cycle in terms of price action that kind of warped some on-chain data metrics to some extent due to this price action nature. So what we can see when we actually set the all-time high, the MVRV Z score had actually decreased quite substantially as people had grown accustomed to the first all-time high we'd set, started accumulating, etc. So maybe people are thinking something similar could happen this cycle, which of course is a possibility. No one has any clue exactly how the remainder of this cycle is going to play out. So if we saw a score of somewhere around six before it started topping out, maybe people wouldn't be able to sufficiently take profit because they were anticipating considerably higher scores. And this was actually outlined in a conversation between Philip Swift, our founder and CEO, and TXMC Trades on Twitter. I'd recommend giving them both a follow if you haven't already. Both great on-chain analysts, as well as Crypto Viz Art Beneath here, who gave some further insights into potentially how we can improve this metric. So one solution was rather than calculating the Z score based on the entire history of BTC if we take it on a much shorter time frame. So then we came up with the MVRV Z score two year rolling chart. Now what this is doing is rather than taking into account the standard deviation or volatility of Bitcoin throughout its entire history, we're specifically looking at the previous two years or half cycle of that data. Now what this does is kind of standardize the data not for the extreme volatilities we saw in the early days, but it now kind of accounts for the growing market cap and changing market dynamics of BTC. And it's constantly adjusting and updating to account for these changes. So if I just refresh the chart so I can draw on it here. Well, we can see very similar to the standard MVRV Z score, it outlines market tops and bottoms incredibly accurately. But as we can see, it maybe now signifies market peaks a little more accurately to account for these changing market conditions. So that if we look at the previous cycle, this actually topped out at a higher value than we saw in 2017. And even if we look at the all time high we set in March of 2024, that gave us an incredibly high value, nearly peaking out here, kind of similar to what we saw in 2017, where we had these initial run ups before some drawn out periods, especially post halving. And then again, for the downside, we can see it's called market bottoms with a similar degree of accuracy to the standard MVRV Z score, calling out great periods to accumulate BTC. So this may be one additional tool you can add to your arsenal of on-chain metrics to potentially help you time the market cycle peak. But we can also do looking at this metric and well, specifically the MVRV ratio is if I just hide the MVRV ratio here and what we can do is look at the realized price. So this is the underlying metric that all of these are being calculated from. As I film this, it sits at around $41,500. 
can do is rather than looking at the standardized Z score is just look at the MVRV ratio. This is the red line here. And what we can see, it's not as deviated in terms of diminishing returns because rather than standardizing for the volatility, this is just purely looking at that ratio between the average accumulation price or cost basis of Bitcoin and the current valuation of the network. And what we can see this MVRV ratio in the previous cycle topped out about 3.96 the cycle before 4.72. So we can see that they're, they're much closer. There's not a huge deviation in these values. So what we can actually do is almost work backwards to say, okay, if we are to top out in this cycle with an MVRV ratio of say the previous cycle, let's say 3.96, what we can do is look at the realized price of BTC, which is around $41,500. But take into account that this is ever increasing. If we look to just a few weeks ago when price was rallying to the upside, this was increasing by about $100 a day. So if we say in six months time, 180 days, this is increasing about $100 a day, just say $18,000 this is going to increase by, add on to the current realized price, let's just say roughly $60,000 the realized price may be in around six months time. What we can do is if we go back to this score here and assume a value of 3.96 or I'm just going to round it up and say four. If we multiply that realized price by an MVRV ratio of four, then we have a potential upside target this cycle, maybe $240,000. Now, of course, this is changing. This is making some massive assumptions of what the realized price could do and where this could peak. But even if we only reached a valuation of, say, three on the MVRV ratio, which should still account for diminishing returns, may still result in this metric still topping out in a market cycle peak that would still result in a price potentially of around $180,000, which would be still unbelievable returns for this BTC cycle. So let me know your thoughts on the MVRV Z score two-year rolling. And if you have any other suggestions for improvements we can make on other charts, let us know in the comments below and on social media. Also, if you haven't already, please don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications to ensure you're receiving all of our content as soon as it's released. And make sure to check out all the resources we've discussed today, as well as the many more that are all available on BitcoinMagazinePro.com, your number one source for Bitcoin analysis. So just to summarize, the Bitcoin MVRV Z-Score has historically been one of the most accurate metrics for outlining market peaks and bottoms for BTC. However, there are some doubts regarding its usefulness going forward in ever-changing market conditions, like we can see with institutions coming in, like we can see with sovereign state capital pouring in. This is considerably different than the supply and demand economics we saw a few cycles ago when it was just individuals in dark rooms trading on shady exchanges. The market has changed and we need to update and account for this with our on-chain analytics. And as opposed to just calculating the Z-score of the MVRV based on the entire history of Bitcoin, we can do this by isolating the standardization to just the most recent two years of Bitcoin price action on about a half cycle basis. And what we can see is this new metric currently shows we have plenty of upside potential remaining for this cycle, currently a value of about one. And that upper region we saw on the chart was not only really starting to top out until values of around four. So we still have considerable upside room for this cycle to go. If you like this video, then please visit BitcoinMagazinePro.com, where our analytics help you to cut through the noise to make informed, data-driven decisions about Bitcoin. With over 150 live charts, personalized indicator alerts, crypto industry reports, API access, and more, or for a fraction of the standard industry price. And let me know what your thoughts are on this metric and any others you'd like to see potentially fine-tuning going forward. Thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.